You're live. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Today is uh, Tuesday? Tuesday, August is it, the... Is it Tuesday? Something? It's August 25th. <laughs> I know it's August 25th. I know. We've been at home I, so long at this point. I don't, I don't know, know what day it is. is. It's, it's August, I think is, it's Tuesday. Is it, is it the 25th? Yeah, because I can look at okay. the uh, computer uh, date here. <laughs> Thank goodness. <laughs> okay, so it's Tuesday, August 25th. And it is about quarter after one uh, yeah. in the afternoon. Yeah, we actually were, yeah, we're, we're two minutes late. We're two minutes late to our live oh, stream. <laughs> that's typical. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah, so hi, everyone. Thanks for joining us. Uh, we hope you're, uh, you're having a nice you, day. Thank you, Melanie. Melanie just confirmed our audio and video is great. Thank you, Melanie. <laughs> she beat me to the punch. Yeah, saying. we, appreciate, tech, the, we tech. appreciate the feedback. That's that great. The tech, what did, what did I call our it last week? The tech. Te tech. Tech test? Tech? No, it was a better word. Something than tech. Tech check. Tech check. Yeah, that's, that's it. it. <laughs> tech check. What's the tech check? Anyway, Melanie beat us to it. Don't know the day. Great. Thank you very much. Everyone in the chat is saying hello. Big Hi. hellos. Big hellos. Sue Tepa says, you look great. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, I'd like to welcome, um, before we started the stream, we had a new member join. So a big welcome to, let me go up the ch chat here. Welcome to Crafty Corner. Crafty Corner. Joined our alpaca level. <laughs> welcome to the family. Um, another, someone else joined, but the message was retracted. So I don't know exactly. Whoever you are, welcome. <laughs> and we just had a new member join. Oh, goodness, wonderful. Um, big welcome to Delicious. Delicious. Oh, I like yeah. that. Yeah. So um, if anyone's interested in joining... We have um, a link. You can check out all the uh, perks. Yes. For being a, a channel there's, member. There's a little video there. I'll explain it. Yeah, again. I'll post. I'll post it in the chat box. Um, but in the meantime, welcome everyone. Whether you're just popping in for the first time or you've been here for years at this point, <laughs> we've been working on uh, Granny Squares over the last few live streams, playing our Granny Square game. A lot of you have been playing along, uh, and I've been seeing the pictures on Instagram. Thank you for sharing those. Yes, I did manage to check my Instagram <laughs> account. <laughs> um, I do try to get to it as often as I can, but boy, life is busy. Even though we're stuck at home, I feel like the days just seem to fly by no matter what's going on. It's yeah. really strange. Yeah, they fly by even when you're kind of bored. There's always like so much to do. I don't know what. There's like a lot to do, but also a lot of boredom at yeah. the same time. I, I know. But I do it's find really myself like, staring out the window sometimes going like, is the world still out there? <laughs> like. <laughs> A uh, big welcome to another new member. Uh, mm -hmm. Welcome to, I hope I pronounced this right, Java Zeb. Java Zeb. Java Zeb. That sounds, that sounds like. Welcome to the really Crafty family. <laughs> Thanks for joining. What? All right. So um, today, because I only have a handful of, I have three, I have three more partially finished granny squares that I do want to finish, but we figured rather than continue with the game today, I've got, as you can see, quite a stack of granny squares now accumulating from the game. I did not anticipate that I would have this many. I really thought when we first thought, sat down to play the game that I would end up with like six, maybe eight, 10 at the max. Um, I've got significantly more than that. I still have a few to finish and I also still have some yarn left over and I do want to just use up all this yarn. This is the yarn that I had sort of earmarked for the granny squares in this project. I do want to just end up using it all up um, for more granny squares or I got to remember to keep some back for joining. So because I did really want to make a scarf for the fall and today's Kind of a nice cool day. There's a bit of a breeze blowing. We had a giant thunderstorm blow through last night and kind of cool things down, which was much appreciated because it was quite hot there for a couple days. Uh, we thought today would be a good day to just stitch together some of the granny squares into the scarf because I do want to line this scarf with fabric. And we're going to make a video, a proper video on how to line a scarf with fabric, the kind of fabric you want to choose. Um, how you want to cut it, um, how you want to size it, washing instructions, all that. We're going to sort of talk about that in a, in a proper separate video. So if anyone has never lined a crochet project with actual fabric before, we thought we would do a video on that. <laughs> we got a super chat from JC. Hi, JC. <laughs> uh, JC, thanks for the super chat. So JC says, your granny pile needs its own zip code. <laughs> 
I agree. <laughs> yeah, it's quite a lot of real it's, estate. Uh, it's a nice pile, that's for sure. <laughs> JC wrote us another fun limerick, actually. I think I wrote that. Another new one? Yeah. Is wow. That, JC is a, a busy poet. She, she's, a, she's a busy poet. <laughs> um, okay. I see I see a limerick here. Um, is this a new one? I think so. I dated it. More Granny Square game coming our way. Jada, Jada says, let's all play. Mr.'s may rules are followed by the book while <laughs> jada crochets briskly with sparks flying off her hook <laughs> I like that. it may be rainy it may be cold it may be gloomy and gray but hooks and yarn and granny squares will always brighten our day yes i love that <laughs> go jc jc and the awesome i love machine. it that was awesome yeah, I like that. That was really good. I like yeah. the sparks flying off my hook. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> they do fly off your hook. It comes, if you're if I'm using metal hooks, they just might. <laughs> I have a fire extinguisher right here just in case because she's always got sparks flying off those hooks. I do love like it. Quick. Love it. All right. So today I thought I would stitch together some squares. Nothing fancy. Um, I, we've got a tutorial on how to join granny squares if you've never done it before. So if you need a really in-depth look at three different methods, um, we've got a link for that. And uh, we'll also make sure it's in the description box of the live stream after it becomes a video later. It's just how to join your granny squares. So I'm just going to sew mine together today, but I thought I would pick some. And because I've got quite a stack here, so I'm gonna pick eight or nine, I'm not sure how many, eight or nine that I like. And then I'm just going to sort of stitch them together while we're sitting here and chatting today. And maybe you guys can help me decide which of these, uh, which which eight or nine squares I'm going to use in my scarf. And the rest of these squares, I'm going to probably turn into, I might make a bag, um, depending on how many I have and how much yarn I have left over, I might also make kind of a, an interesting little like poncho or a bit of like a shawl thing. I don't know, it depends on how many squares I have left over. Uh, but first and foremost, I wanna make a scarf because that was the plan all along. Um, so I'm just going to go through them. I'm going to show you sort of how these all turned out one by one. This I haven't done any weaving in of tails or weaving in of um, knots. So I'm going to have to do a bit of that today too. Um, I'm going to try and keep them all on the back and I'm not too worried about little tails showing because I am going to be lining it and I'm going to line the back of the scarf and um, that will help lock a lot of those little tails into place too. So that's one. A big welcome to Michelle. Just joined our Merino level. Hi, Michelle. Welcome to the family. Thank you for joining. <laughs> That's another one I've got. I think I've got, I've got little tails line hanging out. Um, and if any of you have just popped in for the first time and didn't see us making these granny squares during the granny square game, they're really random um, and assorted in color because of the nature of the game. Um, the timer is always going off. There's always a, a wheel activation or something. So there's always a reason to change colors. So you're not necessarily always using the same color. You're not always using the same color in the same place. And you're not always using the same color to so you complete an entire row. It just depends on how the game works out. But what it ends up happening is that you have these absolutely gloriously random, strangely designed squares that because they're all using elements of the same yarn, all work together in unison. So you end up with a really cool looking project afterwards. Tally says, make a bag. I think I, I probably will. Yeah, for um, sure. Depending on how many I've got left. Yeah, because if I've got just the right number to make a poncho, I might do that. But I do like granny square bags. I think it would look nice having a bag match my scarf. That would be nice, of course. <laughs> um, I might still have some left over. So <laughs> I have quite a lot of them here. This one's neat. I like the little bit of green that goes into that one. That's got a lot of gray in it. Um, this one's got some more purple in it. These were all made with a size seven millimeter hook. Um, all of this yarn is like a size five bulky, chunky weight. Um, so it's a bit thicker than a regular um, sort of yarn category, a medium category. And it's all acrylic. Um, there's different textures. Some of these yarns are of, like some really different kind of textures going on. Um, some of them are twisted colors. Some of them are solid colors. Some of them are kind of um, I don't think I used any variegated. Um, most of it was just sort of yarn twists, but they're all kind I of like, all over the I place. I like that one with the shot of bright blue and, I like that and the too. dark color. I, yeah. I like this one. Some of them just... It's that a, looks like the ocean. Yeah, that one's really, really pretty. <laughs> that, one's, that one has a bit of a mermaid feel to it. Mm -hmm. I might put that one aside. There's a nice... That one's got a lot of shades of lilac in it. It's so funny how it, it 
kind of all happens. Here's another one with some pretty blues. Is anyone keeping track? I haven't, I haven't, I haven't counted them all. Up everyone's, uh, everyone's liking what they see. Um, oh, and I didn't say it was uh, nine, one, two, three, six rounds. So I did each granny is six rows or six rounds. Um, so they're all the same size. And uh, that's why, um, uh, that's why you also sort of pick a size when you're making, when you're playing this game, you want to pick, uh, pick how big you want your, your max granny to be and make them all the same size. That makes them easier to put together into a project, whatever you end up doing. That was pretty dark. That one's almost got like, Oh yeah. Look at that. It's got some, a little bit of shot of blue in the bottom corner there. I like that one. This one's another, another pretty little random one with some purples, a bit of rose, a little bit of blue in it. Getting to the bottom of the pile here. <laughs> Some more blues, a little bit of twisting. I like that. that we, need, we need to as assign a zip code to uh, to your pile of granny squares here. Look at how that one ended up um, symmetrical in the center. Yeah, yeah. It, and it's, for fluke. it's just the way it kind yeah. of worked out with the game. <laughs> I like that. Neat. And then that's the last one. I'm going to have to count these up. Either sure. that or that was one of the times you were cheating and I didn't notice. <laughs> I'm not sure. I don't I'll know what you're talking about. I'll have to go back and check the videos. <laughs> There's proof, one, recorded two. proof. That's a pretty one. Three, four, five, six, maybe that one, seven, eight, nine, ten. Tammy asks, seven, is this hard? I'm new 12, to crocheting. 13. Let me quick, like, I'll answer that in a second. 14, Absolutely not. 15, 16. 17, 18, 19, I have 19. Okay, um, making a granny square is not difficult. I would typically teach a granny square, if I'm teaching people how to crochet directly, like I'm sitting with a bunch of friends, uh, frequently the first project, the first thing I teach people how to do is make a granny square. Now, I didn't learn a granny square first when I learned how to crochet. I just started working on basic stitches, and you can do that too. Um, the reason I like using a granny square as a learning mechanism is that you learn double crochet, which is a very standard stitch. You learn working in sort of like turning corners and angles. You get like a really neat, you can sort of work in multiple dimensions, which is fun. Um, working into spaces as opposed to individual stitches is a lot easier on the eyes when you're first getting used to handling a hook and yarn. It's a little easier to see a space than it is to see an individual stitch. Mm -hmm. And when you're finished making your first granny square, you've actually made something that you can then build on. You can make more granny squares and turn them all into a project, something simple like a scarf. You can keep going and make a little blanket. So granny squares are, I find when you're, when you're learning, it's really great to make something that you can then use um, or that has some kind of purpose because then you feel even better. Not only did you just learn how to do something, but you've made something productive too. So if you use cotton, for example, when you make a granny square for the first time, you can just turn right around and use it as a dishcloth. It's a perfect little square and it washes dishes lovely. Granny squares actually make a really nice dishcloth, that pattern, because you've got the bumps of the shells to sort of help scrub with. And I like when there's spaces in a stitch pattern for a pat for a dishcloth because it kind of lets the suds <laughs> breathe I guess <laughs> all right um I'm still picking some squares a big thank you to L for the super six, chat six, six. thank you L L says L says it's like a crochet tie-dye the granny squares yeah 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 that's exactly what it's like yeah just shots of color random it is yeah swirls crochet tie-dye I yeah. like that I'm trying to think if there's a way you could. A is green. it like a crochet tie hook? <laughs> it's a cro crochet yeah, hook tie. Tie, <laughs> it, tie it into the to crochet. Five, tie six, guy. seven, eight. Okay, I have eight here. I think I'm going to start with these eight. And I'm going to start stitching them together. And I'm, I'm going to just weave in my little tails and stuff before I get going. And if I feel like eight is quite long, I'll leave it at eight. If I feel like I want it to be a little bit longer, I'll, I'll add in one more. And because these are all really, really random, I'm not terribly concerned about which order they go in. Because I feel like they're all going to look really nice together no matter what I do. So the first thing I'm going to do is, I'm just going to get this out of the way. A big thank you to Delicious. <laughs> For the super chat. Thank you, Delicious. I love that. Delicious says, made your V Stitch baby blanket wow. for my baby cousin. Lovely. Awesome. Aww. Aww. Beautiful gift yeah. to receive. 
Getting getting handmade crocheted blanket. I think handmade gifts are the best gifts. Very I nice. know I'm a little biased, but um, <laughs> but I feel like anytime somebody, even myself, gets something that's handmade, it's always like you just feel a you feel kind of special getting something handmade because you know that somebody put time and effort into that. Yeah, I think handmade handmade gifts <laughs> nice. are still my favorite. So all I'm going to do is just I'm just going to weave in some of my little short tails <laughs> and my ends. Mary asks if you made your shirt. You want to show off your oh, yeah, uh, sure. your dress? Um, yeah, actually, this is this is a dress um, I'm wearing. Um, yeah, so this was an experiment. I had some leftover uh, linen um, fabric from a pair of harem pants that I made, and I wanted to make a dress that was sort of granny squares at the top and then just regular fabric beneath. So it's just six granny squares, nothing fancy, just six in a row. Um, you make sure you measure your widest part. If it's gonna be around your bust, measure your, your bust size. And um, you can make as many granny squares as you want, but I took my bust size, divided it by six, and then made six granny squares that were that width, or as close to that width as possible. And then I just, um, took that same measurement and I multiplied it by 1.5 and took a length of fabric and cinched it up so that it measured the same width or the same length as the bottom part of that line of granny squares and I stitched it to the bottom. And that's pretty much all I did. It's, um, it's a 1920s style, so it's got a drop waist. So I don't know if you can see that, <laughs> but it's a long dress, it goes right down to my ankles. Um, it's very, very straight, like this, like the 20s, that flapper style. I really like that look because I feel that's kind of elegant. Um, I added straps, nothing fancy, and just to make sure it doesn't want to fall down on me, <laughs> I, uh, I made a little tie that runs through those spaces um, that naturally occur at the top of a granny square. So in and out, in and out, and I just tied it in a bow. And it's quite comfortable, actually. It's a nice little house dress. Krista so. says, so cute. Thank you. Michelle <laughs> says, I love it. It was really easy to do relatively too. If you're new to sewing, um, it doesn't require any fancy, there's no pattern here. It's just, like I said, based on your measurements. Um, and you could just turn it into a top if you wanted to. You didn't have to turn it into an entire dress. You can make it, um, you could make it really, really billowy. Like you could take, uh, take your bust measurement and multiply it by two and cut a piece of fabric that long and as wide as you like and just finish the edges, like zigzag them. Or if you've got a serger, just mm -hmm. run the serger around it and cinch the top and stitch it to that, the bottom of those little granny squares and then just seam up the side. It's the cutest little, it's a simple way to make a little summer top. It's kind of fun, I don't know. This is just cotton too. Ding, ding, ding. Ding, ding. We got a super chat from Christine. <laughs> thank you, Christine. Big thank you to Christine. Christine <laughs> says, thank you for being the best teacher. I have to agree. <laughs> <laughs> I have learned much. so much from you. Big thank you. Oh, well, thank you so much. Thanks, guys. I really <laughs> I'm glad to know I'm still I'm still um, valid as a as He a is teacher. the best teacher on the internet. Just don't ask me to Said teach it before anything. And I, I'll say it again. <laughs> thank you. Thanks, guys. Yeah, so all I'm all I'm gonna do. Everyone loves your dress Thanks. and loves what you did with the uh, the crochet integration. Thank you. Very simple. Just just kind of fun. I like I like mixing media. That was something I always enjoyed about art class in high school was when they made us do a mixed media project. I like mixing things together. <laughs> and since we were talking about lining a scarf with fabric, that kind of got me thinking about doing a project like this. I was sort of just fiddling around. And like I said, I had this leftover linen um, fabric. And it was just an experiment. I like the way it turned out. It's quite comfortable for sitting around the house. Um, I used plain cotton yarn to make the um, the granny square, so literally nothing fancy. And when I go to wash it, I'm just going to hand wash it and let it hang dry. And linen's lovely. Linen, you can iron it, but also like if you just let it hang dry, you can maybe steam it a little bit. It doesn't really wrinkle too much, so it's a nice fabric if you can get your hands on some. I think Mama just bought some linen the other day. She went to the fabric oh, store. Oh yes, she was so excited. Yeah. So I think it's just white linen she got. It looks really nice. She, she's going to make herself some blouses or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She's been busy with the sewing machine lately. Yeah. It's good. We're all getting sort of like extra crafty with all yeah, this time on our this uh, strange lockdown has got everyone kind of doing, there, there is some silver linings. Yes. It is. It is nice. You know, too. there's a lot of people uh, learning how to bake and sew and yes. or crochet. All, all sorts skills. of crafts. Uh, what did we read last week that um, 
building supplies are kind of running low because yeah. everyone everyone's, everyone's doing busy DIY. renovating, renovating <laughs> their homes and their big apartments. projects around yeah. the house yeah yeah, that doesn't surprise me. I think that's plus, you know, people aren't able to go anywhere. There's nowhere to go. So they're, I guess, choosing instead to stay home and kind of improve their space, which I think is Pots nice. around the house. Yeah. Garden. A little, a little house putzing. Gardening. Gar gardening has, uh, gardening on uh, the internet has uh, skyrocketed yes. in, in interest. Yes, <laughs> yes. Gardening is quite, our neighbor actually um, popped over with a, a bag of cucumbers and some of the biggest zucchinis I've ever seen in my life. You could barely carry them. Yeah. <laughs> Which was so nice uh, because they've had a, a real bumper crop. Again, they've had extra time to spend in the garden. Yeah. So, yeah. Yep, there are some silver linings. You oh, have to... big thank you to Becky. Another super chat has come in. Thank you, Becky. Um, <laughs> no message from Becky, just um, five bucks. Thank you very much. Thank you. Appreciate it so much. <laughs> I, I need to get my... Uh, I gotta get my bellows. Oh, hey, where were you hiding that? <laughs> I thought I decorated it's, this. Uh, it's right next to my secret weapon. <laughs> oh, I see. <laughs> Just in case you uh, step out of line, I'm ready. Uh huh. All right. Just in case. Actually, you're uh, you're safe. We're both safe today. We're well, both today, safe. today we're taking a little intermission from the game. Yes, little inter. This is game intermission. This is game intermission. I'm yeah. I'm uh, taking the opportunity to weave in all of my short tales, all of the little um, sort of edges and and um, those little ties that happen when you're joining yarn. I'm just making sure that they're all sort of tucked in, nice and tidy. Oh, wow. JC says, I was able to make my sisters each a 2017 calendar blanket during lockdown. You made two Whoa. of them. Whoa, you were busy. That's a lot of, uh, wow. lot of squares. Lovely. Oh, yeah. my gosh. Isn't that wonderful? That's so, so sweet. See, there, I know, there's a silver lining. Silver lining, everything, yeah. Everything carries a silver lining. I have to say, I've been doing a lot more baking than normal. I've been uh, able to do a little more reading than I normally get to do, which is really nice. And journaling. I've been catching up with my project journaling, and I've really been enjoying that. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, there's uh, a few silver linings here. Vicky says, I have some of my family and friends watching you. You are an awesome person. Please <laughs> keep it up. Thank you, Vicky. <laughs> Vicky used some of our adorable emojis. Aw. Vicky's, uh, <laughs> Vicky's spreading the, the word. little bumblebee and the little word. sunshine. Aw. Thank like you. I like the bumblebee. Um, we got a super sticker. <laughs> Oh, that is such a nice thing. I miss my little bell. <laughs> ding, ding, ding. Haven't heard it in a while. <laughs> it's because it's been chaos here with the game. <laughs> yeah, it's been like pool noodles and spinning wheels and dice flying and, and the timer ice cream going being thrown around. <laughs> it's just been insane. Today, today's a little more chill. Today's a little, a little, little calmer today. Just going to sort of... Oh, and if 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 anyone's interested... I've uh, I've got some funny questions. Yeah, so we'll, we can play we'll let everyone around. decide if they're interested in some whips and whips. Whips and whips. Yeah. Whips and whips. Um. So big thank you to G Weber thank for you. the super sticker. It's uh, our friendly little pair going. Thank Aww. you. Thank you very much. Yeah, and bowing. <laughs> I like the little pair. Awesome. Wonderful. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, thanks for joining us today, everyone. Yeah. Today was kind of an impromptu live stream. We realized we had a little extra time. Yeah, so just, just and, so you know uh, what we do. We, we, we weren't really planning this, but we thought, well, let's do a live stream, see if anyone's anyone's around. We uh we if we go, hey, do we have time? Yeah, I think we have time. Okay. <laughs> is there you know? <laughs> Dude, check check the internet. How's the internet look? Is it is it is, is everything working? You know, like yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we have like a we have like a ninety minute uh, process <laughs> to just make sure that we might have the ability to yeah, and we're not going to get cut live off. stream our quasi clear <laughs> <laughs> image. This is this is rural living in Canada. Yeah. Canada has not the best internet to begin with, no. but when if you live outside of a city like we do, then there's only there's only what maybe <laughs> three three mate. Three main cities that have decent. Yeah. I'm gonna say decent, decent. internet. Yeah. I'm not gonna say good. <laughs> yeah, and and I mean it's it's also very 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 expensive. So that's yeah. annoying. <laughs> but at least we have it. We have it. All right. 
All right. Oh, Quinnell says I got some of that glue tape and double-sided tape you showed us in the journaling tips Excellent. off of Amazon. Excellent. Awesome, Quinnell. I, I hope you stuff. used our affiliate link. <laughs> Don't worry if you didn't. But, but <laughs> if, if you didn't, but <laughs> if you didn't, you, I, might, I might bust out the secret weapon. She might hunt you down. <laughs> I'll smack the camera or the microphone, but... No, I'm just kidding. It's okay if you didn't. Uh, we've got uh, that. I love that stuff. I, I find, like I said, I've been doing a lot of journaling and I, I, I still use, like, I've got it. I've got like a jug of glue, you know, a little squeeze glue kind of thing. And I still use it here and there, especially if I'm gluing like slightly bigger things. Um, like sometimes like an actual like crochet piece of something, I might use a bit of glue, <laughs> but I tend to love that. I just find it doesn't get everywhere. <laughs> so I see Arlene here says, yes, do some questions. Okay. Yes, yes. Mary says, yes, do some whips and whips. All right. All right. Well, I do have so some So we're more getting questions. a handful of, uh, of yes. We'll throw a few in today. Let's do that. Okay. I've got one more to do. So while I'm doing that, let's do a question. Do you right. want me to do no, it? No, no. I got it. I got all right. it. All right. All right. Here we go. Here we go. And You're like an octopus. I am. <laughs> This is a good one. This is a real thinker. What piece of furniture doesn't exist yet, but should? Ooh, that's a good one. All right, everyone, put your uh, put your thinking caps on yeah. and uh, please put, comment. Put your answer in the chat box, or if, or if you're watching this after the live, yeah, you put, can put your answer in comment the, in the comments. comment section. <laughs> right now, we are actually live. I'm but thinking, in the future, yes, to the future people, <laughs> what I just said will not be relevant. <laughs> how much of what we say right now will not be relevant in the future? There's a good question. Wait, how far into the future do you want to go? <laughs> 10 minutes. Because if now. you go far enough, none of it. <laughs> 10 minutes from now. <laughs> Completely irrelevant. Completely irrelevant. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm going to separate. These guys. I'm gonna do... <laughs> okay, we got some answers. Great, let's hear them. All right, so where do we start? Um, smell a vision for the Food Channel. Oh, oh yes, yes. So, so the smell of vision would be the furniture. I guess it'd be, <laughs> it'd be like, like it'd be like a wait, stereo wait, system, wait. but also furniture. <laughs> I thought you meant smell of vision is the for, for, for furniture, and I'm like, why I, would you care what a furniture? I'm assuming, I'm assuming, I'm assuming Quinnell has answered the question, but I'm, but the question was for furniture. What piece of furniture doesn't exist yet but should? Oh, I okay. So smell so, vision. So, the so a television the with smell vision, but it has smell vision. Yeah. So when you're watching the Food Channel, yeah. It would, okay, but let's be honest. Wouldn't that be worse? It might. Because if you're smelling it, not only do you drool when you're watching it, if you're watching it and smelling it, but not able to eat it. I I mean, I, I have to agree with that do you logic. Think, do you think everyone would be gnawing on the corner of the television <laughs> oh, yeah. set? There'd, <laughs> be a lot of bite, there'd be a lot of bite marks. I'm thinking, you know, you, you make a good point because late night, if you see a commercial for like i don't know anything anything food related you you want to go immediately to the kitchen and eat i love <clears throat> food shows i do too. but i find that every time you know in the last couple of years in the last few years when jada wants to watch a food show i'm like oh man i don't want to watch it because <laughs> they they always make you hungry it's true they do you're they just you constantly hungry. starving and it, you're watching like all this stuff it's, it's because... and sizzling and you know you can see the smoke coming off it's and... because you you sit down to watch like oh, I think I put that in the wrong place. it's because you sit down to watch a lot of tv in the evening or at least we do so you're you're kind of left going you may already have eaten dinner. Yeah, usually you're watching it like a it's few hours, hours later. after. You've yeah, eaten. so That's you're why. you're ready to eat again. Okay, we've got lots of great answers. Okay, let's here. hear so them. Let, let, let me get through the chat here and see. Okay, I'm seeing a bunch of our little squirrels. <laughs> if you're having trouble with the feed, try refreshing your page yes. or or backing out and coming back in. And the, the video quality. Oh, is only and I wanted be so to similar. mention this now that I remember. If, if there are some of you out there, once in a while, um, you guys mention that you're not getting notifications or you're not getting um, bell, like you've got the bell turned on, but you don't get notifications of new videos and live streams. First of all, we put out uh, a guaranteed one video a week. It's always Friday. Mm -hmm. 
Usually Friday morning. And sometimes we put out two and very occasionally three. So um, just check in with the channel every week. Yeah. There's always a new video once a week. But for those of you that want uh, the notification to come into your phone or your email, um, sometimes if you like if you subscribed a long time ago, YouTube makes so many changes to their software so that it might help to actually unsubscribe, close out your browser, open it up again, come back and then resubscribe. Yes. So that might help. I just wanted to share that. Yeah, it it because it, even we notice that for yeah. you know channels that we watch, it's the same thing. Yeah. Um we we also notice because we're obviously in looking at at sort of the the, the software a lot more frequently than say other people. We know things constantly changing. So sometimes for example, if you if you encounter a glitch with YouTube, <clears throat> the video won't load, the video is buffering, um, the comment section is strange. Comments are missing. Uh, you type a comment and then you go back a while later and it's not there. There are so many reasons why these funny little glitches can happen. Like YouTube's got all of these different softwares that are all working together. They're supposed to be working in harmony, but they often affect other systems. And then they find that problem and they try to fix it and it messes up something somewhere else. So it's not you is what I'm saying. <laughs> okay. So going back to our uh, whips and wits question, yes. it was, if you could, um, so what piece, of furniture what piece of furniture doesn't would... exist yet, but should. Okay, so we've had lots of answers here. One is a floating recliner. Oh, yeah. That you can just sort of like push around the I house. I like that. I like that. A recliner with a high shelf attached to the back for my cat. Oh, that's very smart. I like that. The girls um, would like that one. Yeah. Let's see here. A desk that dispenses yarn. <laughs> I like that too. <laughs> a yar uh, the yarn chest. The yarn chest. Aww. Oh, that would be fun. A self-cooling chair. I like that. That's a great yes. idea. Yes. A self-cooling chair. They have heated that's chairs. That's actually really easy to that's, that's... Like just want just water. Yeah, no, but like 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 but I'm I'm feeling you know how they have heated chairs? Why not air conditioned chairs? Chairs that just cool you down. Yeah. Like that run cold, like with a little refrigeration. Yeah, unit just a mild little refrigeration, quiet, re Brilliant. quiet refrigeration well, unit. <laughs> that would be great because if you don't have air conditioning or you don't want to get air conditioning, you can still have a nice cool place to sit. I yeah, love I love it. I love the ideas. Once thank, again, thanks for sharing. Everybody everyone. watching is so smart. Um, Lynn says an automatic food maker. Um, like in the Jetsons, oh my goodness! I've, I mean, that one that Star Trek has. Yeah, the the uh, who hasn't the dreamed of that? Uh, the replicator. I would uh, love double that. fudge sundae <laughs> with uh, extra nuts, please. <laughs> Just, just instant. The only problem with that is that I'd have to put like a little regulator on it so that I wasn't getting like a double fudge sundae. No, you need nuts, one like of those constantly. those counters. <laughs> so every so that you at the at the end of the day you look at thirty three. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> you, you program it to like to like admonish you like. Jade up, you've had enough to eat today. Please stop eating. When you pass two, <laughs> this hand comes out and smacks you in the face. No more orders. I'm on strike. I am sorry. Little, little I, hand with a I do this out. because I care about you. <laughs> or you've programmed this. You've programmed me to do this. Slap. <laughs> You're allowed one a day. Anyway, we're going off again. <laughs> I love it. I love uh, it. Flying chairs. A flying chair. I think that would be great. You okay, to... now Mary's got the answer here. Uh -huh. Food vision, where you can grab the food out of the TV. <sighs> again, dangerous. Yes. Oh my god. And gosh. also really um really problematic for the people making the show. <laughs> <laughs> hands are There would constantly be it. hands pulling away their plates and their knives and the, they would just be like, "Hey, I just made I that." Just, they're about to take a yeah, bite. You know when they're about to take that big bite it just, you know, gets pulled out of their hand. <laughs> but the viewer would really enjoy Oh, it. I like that. I like that. These are great. Thanks for um, it's sharing, it's everyone. Like, it's kind of like those really nifty sushi restaurants in Japan where you, you sit down in your little chair, like your little booth, and the sushi is sort of zipping past you on a little conveyor belt. And you can just, like, take the plate. The, it's beautiful. It's like artwork zipping by you. You can sort of take your little plate of artwork and eat it. And then, like, you put the little the little plate in that little, like, have you seen those things? That was, um, um yeah. And they, some of those tables have got, like, a little... 
everything's game. Everything's a game. <laughs> you can put the little plates in this little thing on the table and it kind of like takes the plates and, and then it like enters you in a contest and you might win a, win a prize. I don't know. They're hilarious. I love those, <laughs> those restaurants. Awesome. That Lisa says, Oh, I finally caught a live. I love your tutorials. I watch something every day. Aww, thank you. Thank you. That's a lot of, we do have, um, I crochet something every day. So. <laughs> we do have well over 450 videos. Yeah, we know so. a lot. You can, you can definitely watch something a day. If you go to a, go to the channel. Doing this for a while. I've got, uh, uh, I've almost got this first little rope. I missed the here. super chat. Thank you for letting me know. Okay, so I'm seeing one here. Let me make sure I didn't miss another one. Did I get Lynn? Lynn? Okay, I got G. Weber. So, um, yes, a big thank you to Lynn. <laughs> Lynn, thank you. Lynn sent, <laughs> Lynn sent us a super sticker of our, the little pear dude blowing you a kiss. Aww. Or me. Could, it could, could be, be blowing you. me a kiss. True. <laughs> um, and there's another one here from Operation Inspiration. Oh, I love that. Um, thank you for the super chat. Thank you. Uh, hi, Jada and Mr. and Stitches. Do you have a Mobius twist wrap video and written tutorial? If not, will you do one or recommend one? Thank you for the suggestion. Um, no, we don't have a Mobius twist, <clears throat> which is basically a figure eight. We do have a couple of infinity scarves though, um, which are, we did a, we did a chocolate, a, ch a hot chocolate infinity scarf. Mm. Well, still one of my favorite scarves. That one's beautiful. Um, so if you want to check that one out, but thank you for the suggestion. Go into, uh, go into Google. And type in Jada in Stitches Hot Chocolate Infinity Scarf, and it will pop up. It will. It will pop right up. Okay. There's the first sewn together. Nice and simple. And thank you for everyone to remind me that I missed Super Chat. Sometimes the chat goes by quickly all at once. And we're, it, so I miss stuff. And then you want to read You want to read stuff, and you want to look me in the face when you're talking yes, to me. Yes, I'm also trying to read everyone's uh, messages. and. <laughs> you also require a lot of attention. I do. I require a lot of attention. You demand attention. <laughs> You don't require it. You demand it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Working on adding number three. This is lovely. What a nice way to start. Oh, Kathy uh, says a self-making bed. That, that would, would be, be nice. nice. Someone else mentioned a self-cleaning house. Yes. I think we would all put one of those on order I for sure. <laughs> I'd love Self-cleaning kitchen. A self-cleaning kitchen would be good. Yeah. Yeah. Especially the kitchen. <clears throat> I think... I, I think, I'm trying to think of what kind of, I, I really liked a combination of a floating recliner and a recliner that, that has like, you know, I know that recliners are getting more and more complicated. So there are recliners that exist with like, you know, flip up tables and stuff. Yes. I think those are great, you know, and you can flip, you sit, sort of lean back and the little, the little thing comes I out. I think the air cooled chairs also exist. So like I, they, you, you, I'm pretty yeah. sure. Yeah. Like there's in cars and stuff, they have like the air conditioning will blow through the air. Oh, I like um, that. Okay. Well, in my brain, I'm sort of taking all of these great ideas <laughs> and I am picturing a lighter than air reclining chair that has a coolant system and a heating system that's light enough that I can sort of like take it outside. Maybe it's got like a little hoverboard or a hover, hovercraft bit of technology in it. So I can sort of turn it on, hover it around the house or hover it right outside. And then it would also have like a little umbrella that would pop out the top so that I could sit outside with an umbrella open, but kind of floating and either warm if it was a cool day or cool if it was a hot day with like a little flip up table that I could like put my drink on and my bowl of yarn and like the little, the little thing that my feet kind of flip. I, that's what I would do. And then it would just sort of float around kind of like you were in a, a pool, but not actually in a pool. I think that would be, you that's know, the piece of furniture. You know that <laughs> bubblegum baby booties tutorial we have? The gumdrop? Yeah. The gumdrop. Yep. That's it. Is yeah. it, um, the, is that one a free pattern on our website? That is a pattern over in our Etsy shop. Oh, okay. It's the video that's free on YouTube. Yeah. Yeah. The video. Someone on asked about baby booties. We do. We have actually several baby booties yeah. um, tutorials on our YouTube channel. And I think we have one or two free, free written patterns on our website. We've got a baby so, slipper pattern that is so cute and fun. And that has a free pattern on our website. And we also have the, for the rest of the family version of that yeah. wrap slipper booty. Um, and they both have tutorials too. So, so I will post the 
our channel homepage, of which you can search any type of tutorial on. I still wear those. And I'm also going to post our link to our free patterns on our website that you can uh, peruse through mm -hmm. and um, download and or print out yeah. for yourself. Yeah, and if you're just getting into crochet and you're just sort of starting, um, you're just kind of starting getting going by collecting patterns, even if you don't feel comfortable reading them yet, collect all the patterns you can get your hands on <laughs> and store them in a binder because <laughs> if you go down the world, the rabbit hole of crochet, it is it is so nice to sort of build your own library of patterns because, because if you can sit and watch a tutorial and do a pattern along with it, like we've got almost all of our free patterns on our website have tutorials that go with them, then it helps you to understand how a pattern is written. And then you can sit down, put your feet up and follow a pattern. You don't always have to have a tutorial running, which is really great, very freeing, opens up a lot of doors because you're going to find old pattern books from you know ages ago that maybe have projects in them that you wanna try and you can feel more confident giving them a go if you've sort of gotten your feet wet <laughs> with crochet tutorials and matching patterns that go along with it. And um, yeah, don't be afraid to try those things, but I'm, definitely collect them. It's fun to have your own library. I'm giggling with uh, giggling what Stephanie said here. My husband, <clears throat> excuse me, my husband will agree on the fact that I demand a lot of attention. <laughs> very, very cute. For girls, girls required. So me, me and Stephanie's husband need to team up then, <laughs> and uh, defend ourselves. Stephanie's husband might need a pool noodle. With pool noodles. <laughs> Hand out free pool noodles to all the husbands. <laughs> what's this for? Oh, you'll 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 understand in a bit. Yeah, you get you hand them, get them, give them to the guy at his wedding. Oh, you'll know. But what's this for? Yeah, trust me. Wedding <laughs> gift, a whole box of pool noodles. You know when you go to the Walmart or whatever, and there's like a box and there's like a hundred of them. You just, here you go. You're gonna need these. Um, there was someone. Someone's asking, is it uh, Amer? Amer? I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Um, can you tell, can you tell if you have more baby stuff? Yes, we have a lot of baby stuff. Yes. And the way to find it is go to the, go to our YouTube channel homepage and across the top, there's all of the uh, Little tabs, tabs, click on the one that says playlists. And then there's a, there's one list in there called crochet for baby. Yes. Um, and we've got, there's like 40 there's or 40. A, there's a lot in there. Yeah, there's, and then got, you'll find all of them. We've got baby spot. baby blankets, booties. We've got hats. We've got a little cardigan um, that's really easy to make if you're just learning how to crochet. And blankets, it's really cute too. Baby blankets, car seat blankets. Yeah, we've got a lot of baby stuff. Because um, baby stuff is fun to make. It's small. There's another one. Dee -dee. Another thing I like about sewing together my granny squares. Can we see that again? Yeah. Yeah, look at that. I, I like sewing them Run together it along the camera because yeah. they they the, the stitches will loosen a little bit with wear and with washing and it'll be nice. they'll they'll kind of like just kind of become part of the scarf and it doesn't require a whole lot of yarn which is another thing I like especially if you're at the end of a project and you're not sure if you've got a lot of yarn left for joining um, a like big hello to everyone um, joining us from around the world um we're we've got people saying hello Jana's from south africa oh, wow hi south uh, africa real queen Mel Mel melixa is from italy nice melixa yeah melixa melixa i hope i'm pronouncing that correctly <laughs> um all over the united states lots of hellos welcome welcome everybody thanks for joining us i know it's just uh it's just us Putting together, stitching together some granny squares and asking some Hello silly questions. Hello from Scotland, Chicago. Yeah. Welcome, everyone. Thanks for hanging out with us. It's uh, just a... Today's kind of a chill a chill stream. Just a chill, just trying chill to, stream. Trying it's like to a relax with today's stream a chill, little bit. Chill music. Yeah. Except without the music. Um, <laughs> nice. <laughs> I got to bust, bust out our little pan flute. Where's that? I wonder. No, it's not a pan flute. It's, it's um the recorder. The recorder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember yeah. our remember our stream from like a, a year and a like half, a two years ago, thousand years ago. Yeah. It yes. Was the, uh, I don't know. I can't even remember now. <laughs> Relaxing or something. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> um, Crochet for relaxation. Yeah, we or... had the recorder going. We were trying to just sort of like have a we nice were trying to, day. Yeah. That's out still out there. That's if still if out. anyone's curious. <laughs> 
You have to go to the, I think you have to go to the live stream tab. We have, something. no, you don't have to do that. You, you just go to the channel. You go to the playlist. Oh, yes, that's right. Playlist. We also have them all typically like. Yeah, if you're curious numbered? about past live streams, it's on um, in Stitches Family Crochet Parties. Yes. Live streams. That's where all of those are also in the playlist section. Uh, okay, so we want to do another 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 crazy question. Yeah, everyone ready for another question? <clears throat> now that I want a um, a floating recliner with coolant, heating, an umbrella, and smell o vision television. Smell o vision television. All right, what do we got? What do we got? <clears throat> Here's a big one. Oh! <laughs> if you could turn into an animal for the day, what animal would you choose, and why? I think. I, I want to say cat, but only if I'm a cat in a subdivision, so I can like sort of like sneak around through people's backyards and like <laughs> hide under their bushes. So there's conditions for your animal. <laughs> well, let's see what comes in. I Gee, would like to be uh, a bird for just for the day. Just for the day. Yeah, I think a bird would be nice because be you can, especially if you live live in a really um, like beautiful area. I think everywhere is like really pretty from the sky. Lakes and things. Anything. Just flying over a city would be really cool. Like no, low. You, you know, think be, so? Yeah. Wouldn't you love to be able to building like after building? go right over the edge of a building and, and like fly past windows and, and then like sit on a flagpole and that like I just think that'd be so neat. I, mm. I would love to be able to do that. And be small, you know? I'm thinking more about like the Rocky Mountains. Sure. Or like the, you know, <laughs> that's <laughs> obvious, right? <laughs> Um, things like Norway, you know, those yeah, yeah, the towns, fjords, yeah. Oh, yeah, but Absolutely. anyway, I mean, that'd be fun for a day. So, what, else? what else? Some of those animals that can really like fly through trees and stuff, like you know, how some squirrels and oh, like a flying squirrel, or those, those small, the sugar gliders? You know those small monkeys where they just they're just like just running oh, they can, through the trees yeah. and swinging and flying and catching. grabbing, and yeah, that would be fun, that would be amazing, yeah. Let's see what let's see what everyone in the chat has said. Um, oh, first of all, a big thank you to Christian. Hey, Christian, thank you <laughs> for a uh, super, chat. super chat. Super chat. Yeah. So, thank you, Christian. Um, Christian says, uh, "Hi, Jada. I have some burnout blanket stripes, ooh, ooh. and I'm having problems with getting my 10 millimeter hook through the stitches, and was wondering what mm. your what you personally recommend." Well, it depends on the project. What would you do with this specific yarn? Um, if a 10 millimeter isn't big enough because you find your stitches are still really awkward, it depends on the project. So if you're making like a blanket and you're not too worried about the size of your stitches, then just go up to a larger stitch. Uh, I should say a larger hook. Um, it also could be the stitch pattern you're following. So if it's um, just plain old single crochet or half double crochet, then um, you might want to still experiment with hook sizes. It is going to change the size of your stitch though. And um, try to, this is going to sound funny, try to relax, stretch out your fingers and don't hold your hook so tightly. I find that that there's that blanket yarn is made out of polyester and I like the way it's soft and fluffy and I like the way it feels. And I've, I've made a lot of different projects out of it. I made a heart pillow out of that, that I use every single day. It's my favorite lumbar pillow. Um, but yeah, when you're working with that, it does take a little bit of getting used to because sometimes the hook wants to stick. So if you've got um, a really slippery plastic hook or you can change the version of your hook, this is uh, a knit picks. For example, if you can find a really large knit picks, hook. This is a, a wooden hook or a bamboo hook. I've got some large bamboo hooks. I think Walmart even sells them. Um, just simple, big, smooth wood hook will move a little easier through that um, polyester yarn. So experiment with the hook size, experiment with the hook type, and experiment with the grip you have on your hook. Try to sort of like relax a little bit and also vary the stitch pattern. I, I find Making single and half double crochet stitches is the easiest with that yarn. I feel like I can wrangle it um, and I, I don't like I'm not trying to make a stitch that's too tall because that's really thick yarn and then like the stitch feels like it's getting away from me. So, so yeah, I would, I would recommend that. <laughs> ding, we, ding. We have another super chat from Crochet with Vima. Hi, Vima. Hi, how's it going? Vima says she's been making a uh, wooly stuff for the winter. Love you, Jada, so much. You look so beautiful. Always my inspiration. Thank you, Vima. Not keeping so well, but feeling much better now. Oh, so you're feeling better? Goodness yeah. gracious. 
Now is not the time to be feeling under the weather. No. Um, so can I continue with everyone's answer? Absolutely, absolutely. So it was, uh, if you could be an animal for a day, what would it be? Yes. Right? Yeah, what would you be? So we've got here, um, French Fries says, hummingbird. <laughs> That'd be fun. That'd be amazing. Um, an otter, because I love the water, says Robin. And otters are cute. <laughs> uh, Drazen says, butterfly. Oh, that'd be neat. Yeah, that would be nice. I wonder if Especially if it was a really, like, beautiful like really pretty field, ones. you know, um, like a wild field. I wonder, like, if butterflies actually have control over the way they fly, or if they really do fly that randomly on, like, if they fly that randomly on. It's like they're being knocked around, but maybe that's the you way know? they like it. Because <laughs> it's not always windy. I've never had a conversation <laughs> with them. But they life. act like it's windy. It's true. <laughs> you look at time, you're like, I wonder if it's windy. You see like a butterfly go by, you're like, oh, maybe it's really, wait a minute. No, it's not. You go out, it's perfect. The butterflies still. are just trying to psych us like... out all the time. <laughs> they think it's funny. <laughs> um, these are some good ones. A cat, because they are so cool. Mm -hmm. A gull to sail above the ocean. Oh. That would be so nice. Yes. Uh, Lynn says a bird, because I love flying. I'm a flight attendant. Hey, all right. I'm a flight attendant. Awesome. I want to be a tiger. Yeah. Apex predator. That would be kind of nice mm -hmm. for a day. Mm -hmm. I'd take that. <laughs> this is uh, this is cute. I'd also think it would be fun to be. An like... octopus so I can explore. I lost my uh, spot here. Every once in a while, the chat kind of, um, it's like it's catching up with itself. Oh, yeah, sure. A whole bunch of uh, comments come in all at once. Yeah. I just, that, that statement about being a, a, an octopus made me think I would love to be a cuttlefish for the oh. day because they can just change colors and like, like they can do colors, patterns, like they can just do it on a, on a, on a, in a blink. And that would be so fun to have instant camouflage, you know, <laughs> I think that'd be great. Uh, Bethany says, I didn't get a notification for this. Uh, see, that's what we're talking yeah. about. Bethany, not only is Bethany a subscriber, but she's also a channel member. So um, Bethany should be getting, um, she should be getting a an little email, email. Um, an email from the members a notification. There should be a little notification. There should be a little notification in, in the your notification in, section. In your inbox when you're on, on in your YouTube and account. And that's if signed you're subscribed in. and if you have the bell turned on. And you should have a um, notification of the actual live stream. Yeah. In your subscription feed and or home feed. Yeah. So um, it's YouTube. I'm not really sure YouTube, what to I do think, about that. I think YouTube is. Um, they're constantly um, fiddling around. Fiddling stuff. around and changing things. And um, the only thing I can think of is to double check. Double check your um, that you are subscribed. Uh, sometimes you might click on that button by accident when you're on your little phone and not realize it. Yeah, um, <clears throat> I've done that. And make sure your bell is turned on. Um, but as a member, you should be getting an email. Mm -hmm. YouTube. Um, YouTube. <laughs> so um, we've got another Aww. super chat from Jules Gamer. Jules, hi. Thank I've been you. doing a lot of gaming lately. You have, yes. Yeah. I need to kind catch of, up. It kind of comes in waves. I've you been know? reading, so. <laughs> Jada's been reading Harry Potter. Mm -hmm. um, so Jules says, hey, Jada, sorry I'm late. It's okay. Thanks and your top by. is so cute. <laughs> Thank you. And you look really pretty today. Oh. Can you do a video on continuous sewing? Because I need help with Deadpool. So I guess she means continuous sewing of the squares. So if you're just, so, so if you mean like <clears throat> you have all your squares laid out and you're just going to kind of keep sewing all the way through them and then sewing in the opposite direction. So how does I, how do I explain that? Like you've got, <laughs> say you've got like a grid of nine squares and you sew all the way across the bottom three and then across the, t the middle and top three and then you sew down sort of the, the other grid if that's what you're talking about so that you're not always just sewing two together does, and then sewing um, onto that does does our uh, <laughs> do marina blanket show uh how no to do that? is um, that a different um i think i just i don't think i sewed I what about sewed the uh, the the blanket from 2016 but... here's the only tip you really need to remember when you're if you already know how to sew chances are you're probably using a whip stitch that's the stitch i like to use when sewing together my squares you just want to make sure you line up all of your squares 
have them laid flat on a table or the floor, or whatever, and make sure you're just you're always going through the same set of stitches. So you've always got a pair of stitches that line up from one square to the other square. Make sure you don't miss the corner stitches, so the stitches that run through the corners, and just keep going through those sets. When you've got sort of like squares kind of flapping together and, and everything, that's why it helps to work flat on a surface. Keep laying everything down, do a few stitches at a time, lay it back down. And then before you start doing another row, just make sure everything's in order. When you do continuous stitching or you are really stitching together a blanket in any way, it's always good to just take a, take a moment between like pieces that you're sewing, make sure that nothing has moved out of the way and that all of your stitches are still going to line up. Um, and that's really all you need to know. That's, that's how I do it. So, and I, I hope that answered your question. <laughs> yeah, hopefully. Um, we got another super chat from Quinnell. Oh my gosh. Thank you, Quinnell. <laughs> um, so Quinnell says YouTube doesn't email notifications anymore. And that is correct. For subscribers. For subscribers. Yes. If you're a channel member, you should still every time we post to the community tab, uh, members perks, you should get an email. Yep. That's, that's a different, um, different system. system. Yeah. Yeah, but, but you're, you're right. right. You're right about that. If you're a subscriber, the um, the notification bell, though, if you have the bell turned on, um, when you are looking, especially if you're looking at like your phone, if you're on your phone watching YouTube, up in the top right hand corner of the software of the YouTube sort of software, there's a little button that probably has a little bell, and it might have like a little red dot. Um, next to it with a number in it or just with a red dot, that means you've got notifications. So if you just click on that, it'll tell you, you know, um, what channels have just sort of started, have posted a video, if there's lives coming up, if there's um, like a scheduled video of somebody mm -hmm. that you sub subscribe mm -hmm. to and follow, mm -hmm. all of that information will be there. Mm -hmm. And I just sort of discovered that on my phone. I didn't really use that um, We've got a lot of good answers here for animals to be. Uh, we, we've got uh, penguin, sloth, <laughs> squirrel. <laughs> Girl. Oh my goodness, our little squirrel was uh, trying to rip apart our rain chain today. That little brat. Yeah, I I saw the little bugger pulling and tugging at the at the one of the little ropes that holds it together. <laughs> and I was going, stop that. What are you doing? Stop that. You're gonna wreck it. Try to decide which one because I'll do Even that. when they're trying to destroy your stuff, they're, they're adorable. Cute. Yes. What was um, I have for? a question for everyone in regards to this animal animal thing. Yeah. Would any of you have or have not the courage mm. to be one of those goats that is perched on those on like, like those tiny little rocks on the side of a mountain that's like a thousand feet in the air one of those goats that go up those mountains yes. and they're and, yeah and, and then they'll, they'll be climbing them yes but it's like a sheer cliff yeah and they just leap and they just gracefully. jump up and then they sit there balanced on like one rock yeah i <laughs> Would anyone have the courage to be that guy or girl? I think if I was I'm keeping... Trying think, I'm trying to think if I would. No, I would not. <laughs> right off the bat. No, thank you, no. says Alicia. <laughs> Never. <laughs> not only do I have a mountain bit of an issue goat. with Yeah, heights. The, little, the mountain goat. Yeah, I have a bit of an issue with heights. I think it's a heights. specific one. Is it, good, is it, is it what, yeah, it, it's not... Is it an Ibex? I don't know. Like, if you see the documentaries on them, it'll make your, your stomach, uh, you know, turn yeah. a butterfly because it's like... It, you cannot believe it's crazy. the cliff sides it's that they climb. Yeah. And they're happy. Yeah. They're like, hey, you know. Here, and they pause. And they, they pause. Like, they they enjoy the view. They, they talk to each other. <laughs> I know. It's amazing. Well, and then, you know, and of course, who's going to follow them Candace up there? says, hell no. <laughs> no, thank you. Never, ever, ever. Okay, we're getting a lot of no's here. Okay, so that and we have a lot that. of people, We have a lot of height, uh, people with height issues. Height aversion, my dear, yes. <laughs> height aversion. Height aversion. <laughs> oh, um, someone was asking earlier about um, your your top again. If you want to give a real quick yeah, sure. uh, description. It's um, just, um, it's six granny squares all stitched together, nothing fancy. And then I took linen fabric. It's actually a whole dress. I've got a nice drop waist on it. Um, about a... Uh, one and a half times the measurement of the bottom of all those granny squares all stitched together. And then I just um, gathered it up and stitched it to the bottom. And then I did it again below because it's a little bit, it's a bit gathered. And then I just added a couple of straps and a little tie to run all the way around it. So I could just cinch up the top a little bit so I don't have any gappy gappy. And uh, that's it. <laughs> no pattern, just sort of 
stitch and no stamp. one no one wants to be a mountain goat not even one no nope. one well, do take you, her do you want to be a mountain goat is that why you brought it up are you just secretly uh, no, harboring, I, just harboring a desire I'm, to be a mountain no goat? no should i, I get just, you a well, tin I'm can thinking, can you imagine how how that would like if you had that level of confidence in climbing uh, climbing a the cliff side I how that would feel barely feel confident climbing the stairs I mean, it the makes me nervous <laughs> And they do fall. Oh, I know, I know, you know? and it's spectacular. It is spectacular. Oh, oh thank you. Um, poor little things. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but not often. It, they don't like. It's not. They don't fall often. Usually, if, if they're being like chased or something. I'm sure that if you know, uh, there's an insect or an animal out there that doesn't walk because it's dangerous. I'm sure if they look at us just wandering around and not even do thinking about it. insects count as an animal? Because yes, that, that'd be interesting yeah. to be an insect. It'd be great. Can, you know how fast they are? <laughs> fast. Flies, beetles. Like Jumping. You, know, you can, and, you can I mean, swim. I think it would be you can fun fly. To you can like, climb. You can cling. You can... <laughs> I mean, who hasn't, who hasn't at some point said, boy, I wish I could be a fly on the wall having that conversation. Everybody. Right? Everybody, right? It'd be nice to be that little fly on the wall. I wish I was a fly on the wall with an ice cream <laughs> listening to that conversation right now a human-sized ice cream of course that might be visible mary says i would be a mountain goat all right all mary. Right, mary all right me and mary are going to climb the the mountains together Ooh, wee. i'll take pictures from below you can film us i'll film yeah, in my floating and reclining chair <laughs> in your float air conditioned my air conditioned floating reclining chair <laughs> now we're talking dizzy d also said yes i would be a, a okay. climbing goat oh this is awesome Okay, I think I got a uh, super chat here from Jules Gamer again. <laughs> Thank <Please>. you. <laughs> so Jules Gamer says, I know you are making a scarf, but if you made a second row to match, how would you sew those rows together? I'm making rows with several squares for it. Yeah, so I just sew all my, If this is how I normally do it. So I normally just um, would sew all my squares together. And let me just get this. So basically... Let's say this is my row of squares. This is my first row. Done. Then I sew the next row, all those squares in alignment, always making sure that I haven't accidentally pulled a square out of place, especially important when you're doing a graph-based <laughs> thing. And then I take those two rows and I lay one row down face up and I take the other row face down, put them together, and then I just sew along that one long seam edge. And that's how I have put together square-based projects especially blankets since the beginning of my crochet time. So that's, that's how I found <laughs> the easiest. I find that's the best way to keep control and to keep track of my squares. And I don't accidentally like leave one out or pull one out of, of, out of the right, the right or wrong place. So I just sew all my squares together first and first I do one row and then I do the next row. Sometimes I just do all the rows and then I just <laughs> make sure I do the seams of those rows one at a time. That's it. Angel J says, how's Mama and Stitches doing? She's okay. She's doing pretty good. She's pretty good. She's keeping, been keeping busy. She's been doing busy. some gardening. Yep. Yeah. Uh, doing some sewing, some crochet. Chasing the cat. She made a beautiful bag, crochet oh, yeah. bag that yeah. we have intentions to show everyone. Mm -hmm. um, we're just in the middle of putting putting some footage together. Yes. She she made a gorgeous blanket recently for some for someone's little girl. And she made a really nice bag, yeah. um, very attractive. So we'll we'll share some pictures or some video about that soon. Yeah, that that is. Thank a really you nice for bag. asking. Mm -hmm. Let me make sure I didn't miss any super chats. <clears throat> Don't Excuse think me. I did. Let me know if I missed a super chat or a new member or something. Everyone, shall I do another question? Um, yes, and I also would like you to know that we are at an hour and three minutes. Oh my goodness! Okay. Let's do, I'm going to just finish sewing together all my squares. So I've got this one and one more to do. So I'm going to do that. I want to make sure I get all my squares together. We'll do another question. If we've got time for uh, another one, we'll do another one. It's so up to you. Let's see what we got here. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right. <clears throat> What's the funniest piece of clothing you own? <laughs> we've all got something that's either from our past that we used to think was cool or we have something that somebody gave us as a gift or we've all got something so <laughs> what's the funniest piece of clothing you own what's the funniest piece of clothing you own yeah oh i can't wait to see the uh <laughs> the responses that come in for this one i i have to think about that i'm not sure i i have a lot of really i mean it depends also i mean you know <laughs> 
Candace says, I cosplay. I have a lot of weird clothing pieces. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, okay. Well, if we're going to include our costumes. That's a whole other. Uh, that's a whole other world. Okay. Because, well, let's say, why not? Because it's if we do. Technically, it's clothing. Yeah, technically it is clothing. Because now, if that's the case, half my wardrobe is, is ridiculous. But but also, it's in the eye of the beholder. Like, clothing that I think is actually really quite cool, I've been told is, like, silly. So. Uh, Alicia, Alicia says, those ironic graphic tees. Oh, I like those. Yeah, those are fun. I like those. They're funny. Anything dress-up clothes, says Dizzy. <laughs> Anything I've got... Um, Book fan says, I have a pair of Porky Pig pajama bottoms. Porky Pig pajama Porky bottoms. Porky Pig pajama oh, bottoms. Oh, that's cute. I like that. Um, a t-shirt saying, punctuation is important. Let's eat. Grandma <laughs> versus let's eat grandma. <laughs> yes, I like that. <laughs> oh, I get it. Yeah. Let's that's eat grandma. Good. Yeah. <laughs> Funniest piece of clothing, says Sherry. A light purple jean jacket that's long to my knees with a hood. Never see them, seen them before. Got it when I was 14. Now we're talking. My, yes. <laughs> my ex-husband's 70s leisure suit jacket. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's funny. It's rust-colored and uglier than 10 pounds of sin. <laughs> That's fun. Oh my gosh. Fluffy long scarf with ears and cat paws. Oh, that sounds adorable. Yeah, yeah that's cute. Oh my gosh. I, I love I love clothing. These I, are great. I love clothes that say something funny, that just give off a funny vibe, that tell me that the person wearing them has a sense of humor. Like I, I love I love funny. I, I just Oh, that's great. New, so New York Rangers men, uh, New York Rangers men's boxers wore them over my jeans in 94 as a Stanley Cup superstition. <laughs> 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 my ugly Christmas sweater. Oh, yeah. It's a bottom up with dogs playing poker with Christmas hats and buttons that are paws. That's cute. I love it. My my ugly Christmas sweater is pretty funny. I guess that one. Might Sandy be my says I'm almost seventy seven and I love my Tweety Birgitta PJ bottoms. <laughs> Minnie Mouse zip up onesie with the feet. That's right. I have a onesie. The whole, you you do have a onesie. I your have your little onesie. bunny ride. I have your a bunny, bunny ride. Is it a bunny ride? It's a bunny ride. It's yeah. got the ears and everything. Yeah, she loves that thing. I wear that. Thing. It's the warmest thing I own. <laughs> I love that thing. <laughs> It's pretty funny. You'll be wearing that soon. Yes. A few months. I know. It seems so funny. Hey, how are we doing? My husband has a pair of Superman underwear complete with a cape <laughs> at the waistband. <laughs> Cam, I want to know, is the cape in the front or in the back? <laughs> I like that. That's crazy. That's hilarious. Okay. I'm going to put that last one on. <sighs> Oh, it's looking nice. Looking nice. All right. <laughs> so now, now that people are saying stuff, I'm like, wow, I do have a lot of funny things in my These are underwear. awesome. Apparel, plaid, lime, green, bell bottoms. Whoa. Oh, yeah. All right. <laughs> You're going to change people's uh, vision. You're going to change their vision numbers with those things. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I was hoping somebody would say bell bottoms. I love itchy them. Dre itchy dresses. Doesn't anybody kind of wish some of those crazy clothes from the 70s would really come back? Like 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 the insane bell bottoms? Well, I'm just I'm thinking about how business suits were like you remember they had those giant like the men's suits had those just massive lapels they looked like even a strong wind they might take off. <laughs> And their their ties were like this wide. Like I just I mean, if you go back and you watch old movies from the seventies, like you spend half your time giggling at what everybody's wearing. I know. <laughs> Garfield pajamas. Oh my gosh. A cow onesie that I got for Halloween. Nice. Yeah. Nice cows. Mm, that's real cute. <laughs> I love. I love. A movie. rubber duck onesie. Oh, that's hilarious. A rubber duck onesie. I want a duck onesie. I need more onesies in my life. I should try and make one. Oh, that one's funny. Um, this is from Christina. My husband's t-shirt says, this just in, you're an idiot. <laughs> That's great. 
Rugrats. I would love to have Rugrats PJs. The little that's no, a little that's, cur a, that's a cartoon, cartoon yeah. series. Yeah, I know I know that one. I I Janice says I have a pair of blue turquoise pants. My son said those those pants though, <laughs> they're so blue. I guess the color is weird is it's <laughs> it's a bit very vivid. <laughs> Well, if you're getting reactions like that, that does he leave the room after? Yeah, yeah. after, after he, that's the question. Yeah, does if he, stay, if he stays around, if he sticks around, it's not so bad. But if he leaves after he says that, yeah. then maybe they are a little. Or too maybe busy. refuses to be seen in public with you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. All right. How, how are we doing? Actually, oh, we have so many answers. Okay, here. let's hear some more. I'm almost done finishing my my little squares here. I have a birthday hat that sings and flips side to side. Well, as long as it doesn't flip anyone off. That, that's yeah. <laughs> no off flipping. No. <laughs> that's that'd be, funny. That'd be funny too. That would be funny. It'd be rude, but it would be yeah. funny. <laughs> All right. All right. That's um, how I feel about my birthday. Let's get, to some, let's get to some super chats. Yeah. Just, that just oh, gosh. In. Okay. <laughs> Wee. Uh, for those of you just joining, we're having a slight, slightly, slightly it's relaxed, chill, it's a chill, chill stream. live stream. Yeah. This isn't Netflix Thanks and for chill. By. This is, uh, this is in crochet and chill. And, and chill. Yeah. Crochet and chill. <laughs> um, Jada's put together the granny squares from the game to make my, into a scarf. My scarf. So I've got them all together now. And you want to show that off mm -hmm. while I read out these super chats? I'd love to. Actually, I'm going to try and wrap it around myself. So so this is from Ka Katrina's Crochet World. Thank you, Katrina. Big thank you. Miss you guys. Glad to be here. <laughs> Thanks, Katrina. Appreciate that. And a super chat from L. Thank you, L. <laughs> L says, I have a complete elf suit with jingle shoes. Oh, a yes. A complete suit. L, I, L, I that's would like awesome. to see that. <laughs> I'm picturing shoes. the kind of suits you see in, you know, uh, Hollywood Ooh. movies. Like, uh, this is nice. I like it. This is, this is uh, that, look how, quite cozy. Look how good that Isn't looks. Isn't that pretty? You join them all together. And you get them all sort of squished together. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I've got, I've got a lot. I can, I can. I, I'd like to see some ratings. What, I can also make it like quite. Let, let's see loose. some ratings in the chat, everyone. Um, out of 10. And what, what do you get? What do you give? Uh, what do you give the crochet games? Uh, Jada scarves here from the game into a shawl, into a. Now I haven't lined scarf. it yet. Definitely going to be lining it. Someone asked earlier if you were going to put a border around it. Um, oh, good question. I'm. I actually was going to get it all together. This this is quite warm. Holy smokes! Um, I was going to get it all together and decide. So let me ask you guys. <laughs> I think everyone in the chat's biased. You're getting tens and elevens. <laughs> Thanks, guys. You're getting 10 out of 10s, 20 out of 10s. Let's just, just 10 pluses. Just to sort of like, you know, that's all those random crazy granny squares. Book fan wants to know, is it comfy? It's quite soft yeah. and comfy. I used I used nice fluffy yarn, so it's quite warm and soft and cozy. But I'm gonna line it with uh, cotton quilt fabric so that the inside will be all smooth and nice against my face. I love, I've lined lots of scarves. I've also done splice scarves. I'll show you my splice scarf in that same video we're putting together. Um, Cause you can, I it's half of it is sort of cotton and the other half is actually crochet and it looks really cool. But I just think this is so pretty. Jenna gives, gives uh, your scarf a 12.675 out of 10. <laughs> Thank you. Lots of tens. Oh, we got an eight from Dizzy. Thank you, maybe Dizzy, Dizzy noticed, Dizzy. Uh, noticed a, a slight imperfection. Maybe maybe somewhere. Dizzy thinks that there should be a, a border. What do you think? Should I bother with a border? Dizzy, if, if Jada puts a border on, <laughs> you, would would you up that to a nine or ten? <laughs> um, because I am gonna line it. So I just I mean a border, I will say this. If I add a border, it'll just smooth things out like that little space um, across the top of the seam. Not that that bothers me too much. I also kind of like the sort of rustic busyness of it. <laughs> Christy um, gives you a hundred out of ten. <laughs> That's a really good score. Catnap gave you a trillion out of ten. I'm not sure how many zeros that is. <laughs> hey, we've got a new member. I think a well, big welcome to Lynn. I think Lynn has been. Um, Lynn Lynn's name looks familiar to me. Yeah. Yeah. Lynn, Lynn, welcome, Lynn. Thank you for joining. Yeah, big welcome to Lynn. Thanks for joining or or renewing. Or renewing, yes. Sometimes we're not sure what that that that. We're not always we're not sure, always sure what that means. We're not always <laughs> sure what it means when it comes through the chat. I think okay, just to quickly, I think I might do a row of single crochet around the edge, 
just to clean it up and give my edging a little <laughs> bit more of a, a firm thing. So I think I might just do that. Just um, a row of single crochet. Nicole would like to know where to find your yarn needle. Actually, we have a have affiliate. A video about that. We have affiliate links to a lot of the stuff Jada uses that takes you to Amazon. Mm -hmm. um, uh, these are called wool needles. Um, they've got a nice big loop eye, so they're super easy to thread up, which is why I like them. They typically come in sets of three. We do have links to them. Um, there's some there by Pony, yeah. Think Pony. We have, we have, they're the, good ones. These the, are aluminum. We have the ones here from uh, Clover. If you, um, if you, go, there's two ways to do it. You can go to our, um, um, our website on the shop page. It's got a bunch of links to all the stuff Jada uses. Yeah, you can check that out. Um, um, we've also got, um, um, we've, I guess you've got the direct link there too. Yeah, this is for specifically those wool needles. Um, so there's, I've got several. This specific set is by H.A. Kid. I found it in a department store yeah. years and years and years and years and years ago. Um, but they, um, Clover makes them, Pony makes them. Um, typically they're aluminum with a little plastic eye and they come in, they come in and usually set of three and they're like three different lengths. I don't know about these judges. Love them. I think there's some, some bias going on here. <laughs> you're getting, uh, you're getting complete perfect scores. <laughs> okay. Dizzy says, all right, a nine out of 10 all right, yeah, with thanks, the border. With the border. <laughs> thanks Dizzy. Appreciate there's that. An honest, an honest At least stuff. Dizzy's being honest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I think I will. I'm gonna do I'm gonna do just a simple little single crochet. And my single crochet border, I mean, this is what I'll do, guys. A single crochet in every stitch, a single crochet in every space. When I get to a corner, I'll go single crochet, chain two, single crochet in every corner space. And I'm only gonna do one row of single crochet. When I get to the seam, I'll do a single crochet in the corner space of the first square. I'll do a single crochet underneath the seam stitch, the actual sewing stitch that I made. And then I'll do another single crochet in the corner space of the square next to it. So just single crochet, single crochet, single crochet. That's how I'll treat my seams. That's all I'm gonna do all the way around, just real basic. And I think I'll use this because that's the same color that I joined all my squares with. Oh, thanks, Kathy. I also have the most of this left. Kathy so. did buy those needles and she did use our affiliate Great. link. Thank so you. thank you so much. <laughs> It does support support our show. That helps. It helps a little bit. We really appreciate that. Plus, the right needles. They They're are super, super useful. Everything everything that we post um, with our affiliate link is all stuff we've used and or vetted. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Because I mean, we're very picky when we buy uh, uh, online. Yeah. So we yeah, we're picky. we do a lot of research and. Well, make, also make you sure know, the reviews are, are good when and, you've been when you've been crocheting and using tools you know as long as i have you start to know which ones you naturally like um in fact speaking of tools we've got a couple of little review videos coming up um soon on some new tools uh hopefully we'll get a chance to get those uh, put out there for you guys there's um, a, got a whole bunch of stuff ready to go uh, jules gamer jules gamer said she checked the link and it doesn't look like the needles so um it's two things. It's possible that there could the, be multiple ones. The, they the could have replaced it. Yeah, they could have replaced Some it. Some of them are different colors. Um, like they're sometimes still you have to click underneath the listing because it, it's like we, we've linked to one listing, but the, but the same people are selling different versions of it. Yes. But if you go to our shop page on the website, you will actually see um, the pictures of Yes. Stuff there. Let me like see. I said, the ones that I've got are specifically by HA Kid, mm -hmm. but Pony, for example, makes some aluminum needles that are just like this, but they're different colors. So, like, they come in pink and yellow and blue, but they're still aluminum, which is kind of pretty. And I'm just zipping mm -hmm. along here. Let me show you guys what that I looks like. That, but... Okay, Dizzy, what do you think? So, so, so far, we're up to a nine with Dizzy so, with a border. So, there so we go. Let's, that's let's that's what the border is going to look like. And just to sort of like show you. That's across the, the seam between squares. It's a single crochet in the corner space, a single crochet in the seam, and a single crochet in the corner space of the adjacent square. So that's what it looks like. I like that. I think that looks really nice. And the border will tie the whole thing in. Oh my gosh. Ooh, man, that needs some tuning. <laughs> It needs a tune. It does. It does. Little Yuki it's, has been sitting it, here bored in lockdown, <laughs> bored with this quarantine. And he's like, why is nobody playing with me? Excuse me. I'm I had to bust out Yuki because we got an extremely generous super chat from Black Cat Lover. 
Well, seven I love black cats too. I'm thank also going to give black cat the bell. <laughs> thank you. So a big thank you to black cat for the generous super chat. Wonderful. Thank you so much. I love black cats too. My first cat was black. I miss him very much. I miss my black cat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you had a He was an extremely ornery, um, annoyed, leave me alone type of cat, but <laughs> I miss him. <laughs> Mine wasn't. My cat was the most friendly. He was more like a dog than a cat. He was so friendly and goofy and silly, very talkative. I miss yeah, him. Yeah, kind of like a little, little lady. Yes, lady. Lady's extremely lady friendly is like, and chatty. Lady is like having a puppy dog. Yes. It's funny how cats can be so so different, eh? Their little par personalities. Well, I mean, we are so. <laughs> we like, are. Why wouldn't I cats? We were identical. <laughs> I love it. I, I love I love the different personalities on pets. I love their funny little quirks. <laughs> Yvonne says my cat is a tuxi. Oh, those are cute. Mm, yes. I like the ones. I like the ones. What, are they called calicos? They're they're orange, white, black. Like they've got orange, white, and black, and they're all spotted. Yes. The, the love... orange, white, and black ones are calico. Is that a calico? And the ones that are black, brown, and orange are tortoise shells. And oh, they're... yes. I've I like seen those too. too. Yeah. And I like marmalades. I, frankly, if it's a cat, I generally like it. The, so. the, one ma the two mom on stitches um, has one is like a blue. Someone, someone said it's like a, a blue, a yeah, British she's, blue. She's kind of like a blue gray. A yeah, blue gray color. Yeah. And the other one she's is so a, cute. is a, a mix of um, the Maine Coon. Yeah. She's got some Maine Coon in it. Yeah. Big, 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 fluffy very tail. big fluffy cat. Super friendly. Very friendly. Very friendly. Well, they're both very friendly, but. Um, well, Luna's very quiet. She's, she wants she's to be. Shy. Yeah. But she'll certainly sit on your lap and yeah. come for a nice snuggle. But Lady is like a, All is, like your a business. is like a dog, <laughs> you know, plays fetch. Yeah. Constantly wants to play. Goes for walks with her little uh, Yes, she likes to go for walks. Her, her little harness. With her harness on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's calicos, says Catnap. That's the one I'm thinking of. Yeah. This is, this is good. This is good, guys. I like this. Mine loves me and is very smart. Sherry Sherry B also has a black cat. I I like. I think this was the right idea. Putting a little single board, single just this little single crochet simple border. So what it. do you say, Dizzy? <laughs> do we go up a notch or do we stay at uh, we, a measly nine we, out of ten? We get a nine with the border. <laughs> <laughs> I also love just throwing on a little simple single crochet stitch border because it's it feels relatively quick <laughs> you've changed some minds the border looks great I thanks guys I yeah. like the border it's just simple it'll just tie the can whole I, scarf can together can I see that up on the screen again yeah yeah Let's see how you tied that in. So the whole thing. Oh yeah, I agree. I mean, it, uh, either way looks great. It's just honestly that little but finishing it does touch. Give it a nice little right? frame, yeah. And and that one color that's going to unify the whole thing, so it'll look even more intentional, right? I like it. Plus, it doesn't take very long. <laughs> It also will smooth out the edges. So if ever you're working on a project. Ernestine gives you a thousand because of the border. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> so you've gone up to a thousand out of 10. <clears throat> if, you, if you're working on a project <laughs> and you're sewing square, feel like your edges aren't very straight, putting on a little border, even just a row of single crochet, will just <laughs> smooth everything out. So keep that in mind. I love the sound of that bell. <laughs> so, so we pretty. have a, an adorable super sticker from <laughs> Green Tigress Crafts. Oh, cool. Thank you. It is um, the fox. The fox. Right? I'm not good at guessing these he's, animals. He's got his cute little pointy nose. And yes. Then, yeah. I'm going to say he's a little fox. He's very cute. And he's uh, he's screaming into a bullhorn saying, good luck. <laughs> good luck. It's very cute. <laughs> trying to figure out what he's holding in his hands. Is that a... Is it the bullhorn? <laughs> well, the bullhorn is in one hand, and the other hands look like little tags or shopping bags or something. Oh, it's cute, cute. little, cute little sticker. <laughs> Christy gives you a nine hundred out of ten now. So the border is a, a big. Okay, hit. so the border was still the right waiting plan. for. I'm still waiting for Dizzy. Does, does, he, Dizzy's, does he still like? Uh, you know what I think? Dizzy, Dizzy's considering the border. 
She's really weighing it. <laughs> Doing a good judge, good, good judge. Good, here. good, yeah. good long think. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Shauna says we have seven cats, three orange, two torty grays, oh one gosh. black and one Cali. Aww. Wow. Seven cats. Let me guess. You had a litter. <laughs> That's a lot of cats. We had, we had, I guess we had six when, when our cat had her kittens. Catnap but... crochet gives you the biggest number I've ever seen out of 10. <laughs> She's been working on it. This there are so time. many zeros. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, thank you. Oh my gosh. Looks perfect. I like it. I like it. I think it was a good it was a good idea. So thanks everyone. That was a, a nice little way to finish it off. I wasn't sure. Did I miss something? What's going on? I don't know. I'm just reading the chat. I may have missed I may have missed a, a comment or something. It's also a nice way to like continue to use up this yarn. I really want to use all this yarn up. I don't want to have anything left over. Um, cause I'm trying, I'm trying to sort of like, when I've got these strange little balls of yarn that don't really have, they don't really go with a lot or they're, they're not like the same weight <laughs> category as a bunch of other yarns. They keep finding us. Shauna says they keep finding us. They keep finding so us. So I guess they really like your, your home. Oh, here we go. Thank you for the update. So Dizzy kept us at a nine. She kept us at a nine. Yeah. Okay. All right. So I like it. <laughs> Dizzy's, Dizzy's being very strict with her judging. That's okay. That's okay. <laughs> I like it. We appreciate the honest we, feedback. We, we want it. We want it. We want honest feedback. Hey, we got a super sticker from Christy. Thank you, Christy. Big thank you to Christy. It's my favorite one. It's the pair throwing up a nice, fresh, hot cup of coffee. Oh. Mm. <laughs> nice, fresh. You know, hot speaking cup of, coffee. of coffee. You know. I've only had three cups to, in the last ten minutes. <laughs> we can have a little decaf later, and we you can have decaf. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Little decaf with marshmallows. I have little marshmallows. I don't know about the decaf. <laughs> actually, some of that stuff is, some of the um, instant decaf is pretty good. Yeah, actually, we do have some nice instant decaf. Plus, it doesn't require turning on the whole machine. Ka Callie says, I'm having Oreos with coffee. Now mm. I am extremely jealous. <sighs> Oreos. I do not have any Oreos in the house. No. We have one ice cream sandwich left. Well, you can So you know it. what that means. <laughs> Fight to the death. <laughs> Gladiator style. <laughs> okay. I'll bust out. I'll bust, bust out, out the, the other noodle. I'll bust out the secret weapon. <laughs> I'm gonna have to get the other noodle out so we so we have a fair fight. Jamie says decaf. Yuck. I agree, Jamie. I. It has to be the real stuff or nothing. I I have to say. I mean, like I know. I know decaf isn't always very popular. I know instant isn't always very popular, but Tim Hortons makes it's an instant trash. decaf <laughs> that I like. I think it's pretty good. You know what? It's true. It is pretty good. It's pretty good. It's that uh, Tim Hortons decaf in that in that little glass jar. Yeah, it's nice. It's pretty good. And I have it's to say, good. if I have coffee after noon, I just it's, won't sleep. It's I won't palatable. Sleep. Palatable. So, but I like to have a little like. I, I might have a cup of tea. It's not bad. It's not bad if you plug your nose while sipping. It's <laughs> not bad. It's good. It's not bad if you dip 30 Oreo cookies in it. No, anything's not bad if you dip Oreo cookies in it. <laughs> <laughs> Mustard soup. So are we going to flip a coin for that last ice cream sandwich? You can have Or are we going to take, uh, you can have are we going to take this to the ring? No, you can you have it. Take it outside? And then you'll owe me one. <laughs> oh, I'll owe you mm, one. Yes. Which means I'll actually owe you like 10 <laughs> boxes. I know how this turns out. I've been here before. <laughs> Kathy O says, Jada, the goat in Mr. and Stitches is ready to butt you off for that ice cream bar. <laughs> I'm already, I'm already um, putting little traps on the, on the mountainside. I'm like, okay, I'm loosen this rock and <laughs> loosen this rock. So the poor bouncing goat that comes behind you goes, Wait, me. not you. Oh, <laughs> Sorry. I was meant for my wife. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I'm deeply sorry. <laughs> no decaf ever, says Sherry. No. Yvonne says, fight, fight, fight. <laughs> you know what? Let's take this live stream outside and, and put on our helmets, our boxing gloves and helmets, our and just gloves? completely change the rhythm of this live stream. <laughs> We're gonna go from crochet granny squares to karate. To, to gla karate it's and gonna gladiator. be a short. It'll be a short sparring match because oh, yeah? you you don't you have my uh, you don't have you don't have my talent. Think by you're any better stretch. than me, eh? 
tell you what, honey, you can wear my sparring gear and I'll, I'll, I'll go, You'll go, go, bear, I'll bear go forward knuckle. with the gear. Yeah. And you can take your best shot. So I'll be, so my first move will <laughs> and be. And if you can touch me. <laughs> my first move will be to grab a grass, rip grass and throw it in your face and then run. That'll be my first move. <laughs> Sounds good. Run straight to the freezer for the ice cream. <laughs> lock the door. Go to the bathroom, lock the door. <laughs> oh my gosh. Sorry, guys, we got completely sidetracked. We did. Do you, do you have any more answers you want to read out, or shall I ask another question? I think that question is kind of... Is that past? Yeah, it's way gone. Right. I'd have to go pretty far back. No into, worries. Let's pull out one more. One How's, more how question. Your wrist, dude? You, you, don't, you don't have to crochet. You know what? Yet. I'm almost done. You don't have done. to crochet this whole thing. Oh, that wasn't the plan, but you know what? This is great. I don't mind. Um, I'm almost done, this little border, and then this will be ready to, to actually add my, my fabric Can to we get it, tutorials so. on how to make 80s toys? 80s toys yeah. like specifically what do you mean exactly <laughs> there like, were a lot of toys in the 80s <laughs> like a cabbage patch kid or is there like a crocheted toy from the 80s a specific crochet of? style from the 80s yeah like let us know mm -hmm. but only if you switch i'll we'll only answer that question dizzy if you change your vote <laughs> From a nine to a ten. Ooh, Otherwise, driving a hard might bargain. not answer that question. <laughs> we might not notice that question in the chat. Is that crochet mafioso? <laughs> That's a crochet mafia move. I don't know if uh, the crochet mafia. I didn't see. I didn't see no comment. I didn't see a comment. <laughs> oh my god! I swear there was nothing there. <laughs> All right, let me ask another question while we're all, because I still have a couple more stitches to do here. <laughs> wow. Well, we, we tend to be crochet mafiosos. I love it. <laughs> all right, what do we got here, guys? All right. Do we do? Oh, actually, this is a great question to end on. And I would like creative and honest answers because I could totally use the inspiration. If you could have whatever you wanted for dinner tonight, <laughs> What would you have? Wow. Uh huh. That I'm actually requires get everyone's some... bellies grumbling. <laughs> I'm I uh Shell 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 says loving that border color choice. Thank the you, square Shell. will really pop. I, I agree. I thanks. I really like it. I you know what? This is just the way it worked out. This poor color didn't get chosen oh, very much. Sherry would like to see some clothing for Cabbage Patch Kids. Aww. And um, I love My Little Pony and Strawberry Shortcake. I have both a lot of My Little Ponies and some Strawberry Shortcakes from the eighties. I love those little dolls. They're so cute. Boy, the 80s had some good toys. I, I mean, not to be biased because I was a kid in the 80s, but I feel like it was the best toys. I And you know what? My My, my, my Little Ponies, I still have them all because I'm still a collector. Um, they, they, st my first pony I ever got was Peachy <laughs> and she came with the little, the little, the little stable. She still smells like that beautiful My Little Pony baby powder smell. I just love that. Rainbow Bright. I have her too. Actually, I think I have her in the closet. We still have some of our toys uh, hiding away. I've got, I've got, oh no, I think I moved her. I think that's the one I got you. I just, yeah, you got me this. Um, okay, let's read out some of these answers. <laughs> Are you ready? Yes. What's everyone having for dinner? I think so they want let me it. see if I start in the right area here. We've got steak and potato, mm. noodles, mm. pad thai. Oh. Yes. Filet mignon. Mm. Lasagna. Oh my gosh, yes. Mom's lasagna. Mom's lasagna. The one that takes like eight hours to prepare. It's like what I want for my birthday every year. Nachos. <laughs> mm. A shrimp pizza. Oh my gosh. I've never had Crochet that. Crochet needles. That would be crunchy. <laughs> would you add sauce to that? <laughs> Frozen pizza with extra cheese. Extra cheese. Oh, pizza. Ah. <sighs> <sighs> We had uh, we had barbecue barbecue last night. That mm -hmm. was amazing. And I made pizza from scratch. Oh wow, was that ever good? Uh, mashed potatoes, sushi, mm. Mexican food. Oh. Yes, please. All of it. Wow. Steak and baked potato, mm. pasta or pizza, mm. sushi again. Dessert says Nikki. I side with Nikki. Pizza, 
Pizza's pizza's always pizza's a, popular. Pizza's always in the top three. Yeah, I mean pizza's. It's great. just so good. It, it, it is, and you can just put like whatever you, you want. You on You almost it. can't have a bad pizza. It's true. Uh, Chinese takeout, yes, please. I love Chinese food. Um, okay, this one's for you. This is from Janet. Janet's one of our channel members. You ready? Yes. You ready? Yes. Liver and onions. That's my favorite. <laughs> I'm not even joking. <laughs> Liver and onions. And I like that's Gina's ultimate gravy, favorite. And I have liked it since I was an infant. So <laughs> just right. me and my grandma are the only two that like it. <laughs> uh, pizza, pepperoni, and extra mm. cheese with banana peppers. Oh, my, yes. Ooh. Oh, that sounds good. Yeah, I like pepper peppers. I have to try that. That sounds amazing. Um, oh, smokes. I got it done. Korean rice bowl. A dinner here makes mm, them. A diner crazy. here makes them, but they're still not open yet. Oh. A Korean rice Boy, bowl. I hope everybody is that similar to that, you know, that Japanese um meal. Uh, what's that called? The the big bowl of soup and it has all that like, ramen. Ramen. Yeah. I wonder if that's a similar Probably type similar. Of, I love um, those big bowls of soup. Chinese uh sorry, chicken pot pie. Oh, I love chicken pot pie. I love pot pie, period. <laughs> Yeah, Popeye is good. Hamburgers. Mm -hmm. I'd like. I think I'd bok like. Bok choy. I like bok choy. I like baby bok choy. I like them because they're cute. They look, <laughs> they look cute. Lots of comments here on 80s toys. People's favorite 80s toys. All the classics. Mm -hmm. The crab. Cake. Lobster. Mm. Ooh. Shrimp scampi with pasta. I know what I want. Pork yeah. stir fry. Oh, wow. With could, over rice. If I could have anything for dinner, anything at all, I would have... Hawaiian pizza. I would have pierogies with sour cream and a big side of Caesar salad. That's like one of my Do favorite meals. Do we still meals. have pierogies or no? Did we finish that? We don't have any pierogies. We don't have any Caesar oh, salad. Oh, <laughs> the pain. The pain. Guys, I did it. That was so fast. I put the little the little gear on. It's all finished. So now all I have to do is put the backing on, which we'll do a proper video on so you can see what we're doing. Shepherd's pie. Oh my gosh. I made that the other night too. That was amazing. And you know what? I made shepherd's pie, but instead of mashed potato, I did mashed as I'm supposed to not eat as many potatoes. Um, I used, uh, I steamed and mashed a cauliflower. And I tuck, I added an egg and a little bit of milk. If I could choose anything right now, I good. would have to agree with one of our um, one of our comments there. I would say a perfectly grilled filet mignon mm. with a garlic mushroom sauce. With a garlic mushroom, but the sauce. chunky mushrooms. Oh, like like big big yeah. big ones. And then horse um, horseradish. Is that what it's called? Yeah. Horseradish, Horseradish on the side. I can't see what it looks like, but. <laughs> Maybe some steamed. Uh... You're, you're like in another planet. Yeah, oh. I'm, I'm drifting off into <laughs> another world here. We have a new member. Ding, ding. A big welcome to Nelly. Nelly, welcome. Nelly joined the alpaca. Thank you for joining. Big welcome, welcome, welcome. All right, everybody. That, I think, wraps it up <laughs> for my crochet adventure store today. Run. Grocery store run. Yes. Grocery store real. Oh, my gosh. We did that yesterday, actually. We were like, we need to pop out. Yeah. And we uh, we popped over to a fast food. Yes. We, we, but a we good cheated. A good fast food. The barbecue, <laughs> a barbecue version. So there we go. I have put the scarf together. I stitched it up. I added a border. Um, I, I really love it. I love how it turned out. I love how it looks. And now I'm going to line it. So next thing, not the immediately next video, but an upcoming video, we will show you how to do that, especially if you've never lined anything before. And then that will be my new fall scarf. I'm really excited about it. It's such a pretty bunch of colors. And I still have a few squares to finish. And I have a bunch of squares left to do something with. So probably a bag. Maybe a poncho. I don't know. We'll have to see. I'm gonna put this back in my little scrap bag. But that's that's it. I got it done. I'm so excited. Everybody, thank you so much for hanging out with us this afternoon while I did this. I hope you all managed to get a little something done too. <laughs> Thanks for playing questions with us. I love playing questions. I feel like every time we do that, not only do I hear a whole bunch of fun things, but I feel like it kind of helps generate some really fun ideas and stuff. And I just generally thanks for hanging out. 
take care. We'll see you guys Friday. We'll have a video for you Friday. We usually do. Um, it'll probably be up in the morning, provided the squirrels agree with us. And until then, stay safe, stay crafty, crafty, stay crafty, <laughs> stay crackers. <laughs> <laughs> Stay healthy, and we'll see you guys on Friday. Stay crackers. <laughs> You're hungry. I'm hungry now. I noticed a few people in the chat are getting hungry. Mm -hmm. Well, everyone, go make yourself a nice meal. I want pierogies and a bowl of ramen. Ramen meals. Pierogies and a bowl of ramen. Mm -hmm. We don't have any of that. I know. We don't have any of that. So I guess I am doing a grocery store run. <laughs> we need that machine that just... Uh, we need that, that Star Trek thing machine. or that, that thing, the television you can reach through and just like grab the food. I love that. See? All right, so that's it. That's it. We'll wrap it up for today. Yeah, we'll see you guys soon. Take care. Thanks so much for hanging out with us and for playing along, and we will see you Friday. Bye, everyone. Bye, guys. <laughs>